Hello, AOS fans. I'm back again, and it's Wednesday again. And as we know, Wednesday means words. It's Word Wednesday, and I have another book for you, and it's Word Wednesday, What's Weird on Earth? Now, the book is called What's Weird on Earth, and it's by my good friends DK, as usual. And the tagline of the book is Our Strange World as You've Never Seen It Before. And I love this book. I love this type of book. I have a Lonely Planet one I've had for a few years in the house, which is very similar. And uh, this one is just brilliant. I mean, it starts with a map of the world. If, I mean, you know, from if you've watched these videos, you know I love the periodic table. I do like a map, probably, possibly more than the periodic table. So this book, uh, like all Drawing Kinsley books, is a mixture of writing and photographs. And it's a really great uh, mixture as usual. And again, we're split into sections. So we've got nature, the supernatural places, people, history and fun facts. And it's just got loads of weird stuff in it, frankly, or just things you didn't know or things slightly odd. So we have uh, naturally weird. So we have things like the Kawa Ijin uh, volcano in Java, dissolved metals turn this crater of turquoise blue, red beach in China, the chocolate hills in the dry season, hundreds of low conical hills on this island turn to a rich chocolate brown. Nature sculptures, so it's kind of weird rock formation. So we've got Krishna's Butterball, uh, so this is Rainbow Mountain in Peru, the Wave in Utah, Arizona, Hoodoo's at Banff, uh, Canada, weird weather, coloured snow when uh, um, snow, coloured snow fell in, fell in Russia because the sand had come up from uh, a dust cyclone in Africa. Uh, what else is here? Ice circles forming in cold climates. Look like cold lily pads. All this stuff is, is like the, it's like manna for children who feed them. Lightning strikes where people have been struck by lightning. Eruption disruption. So things about the uh, volcanoes causing issues. There's a brilliant page here on the uh, drifting ducks. The uh, container of ducks that explode. Uh, explode. <laughs> the container of ducks that uh, sank and then the rubber ducks went all over the world. That's really good. A fant fantastic uh, story for children. Although, obviously, plastic in the sea is not a really great thing. Um, animal camouflage. Let's move on into the supernatural stuff. UFO sightings. Not sure there's much to talk about UFO sightings, really. Creepy curses, all this kind of weird stuff. The Bermuda Triangle. Uh, okay, there's perhaps, perhaps a little less serious uh, here. Um, lucky landmarks, where things are meant to be lucky. I'm going to move out of Supernatural because I agree with it slightly less than other, other elements of the book. But the uh, places, I love these. I've got a few of these. I don't know if you can see that, that map there. Um, it's, um, it's distorted for the amount of tourists that visit. So um, Europe is massive and uh, Thailand is huge. Uh, but Australia is tiny in comparison, and Africa, Africa is tiny, South America much smaller than it would be, because it's distorted for the amount of tourists they get, and there's a few of those maps throughout the book, awesome architecture, so some really great buildings, like there's a metro, there's a, I mean, there's a block of flats in Chongqing in China, which has um, a um, block of flats, there's a metro station, you need the train goes into the, into the block of flats, which is pretty cool, uh, we have... Futuro House, Illinois, designed in 1968, 100 UFO style plastic houses still exist in the world. And there's the Quran Beehives in Iran, residents of this village have turned caves formed in volcanic rocks into houses. And it goes on, bizarre buildings, there's a giant uh, concrete whale to enter a church in Belo Horizonte, uh, there's the uh, house, the auto barn house, looks like a car in Salzburg, and the basket building in Ohio. And the uh, piano house in China, looking like a giant piano, and the Crocodile Holiday Inn in uh, Australia, in Jibu, Australia. Lots of odd bridges, and it just goes on and on and on. And the kids just love this. My children have looked at this book quite a lot, and they love it. There's underwater sites. Uh, what else is there? We've got. Uh, I like this page here. This page is uh, if you cut through the Earth's core, where would you come out? Which places can you actually go from land to land on the Earth's core? That's a really nice thing. Strange things people do. Toxic treats, so things that people eat that will kill you. Uh, fantastic food facts. The Incas use the length of time to take a boil of potato as a measurement of time. In the microwave, things get done a lot quicker. Uh, spices in warm countries, spices aren't used for taste, they're also used to preserve the heat, food in heat. So, all full of information, every page is something interesting. Crazy careers, ear cleaner, ostrich babysitter, Lego master builder. I love that job. Not the ear cleaner, the Lego master builder. Festivals, hazardous highways, 
just loads of stuff which all kind of um, bring children in a bit like Ripley's believe it or not even the Guinness Book of Records that kind of thing bring children in and really uh, engage them into the slightly odd facts of the world and teaching them geography at the same time so I really like that and then other subject of which at the end there is a whole host of fun facts so things like Canada is home to two-thirds of the world's polar bears uh, New York USA you can hear more than 800 languages being spoken uh, in 2014, there were no street names or house numbers in Costa Rica. Post was addressed using landmarks and directions instead. Uh, and then we've got some South American ones and some African ones. Coffee is Kenya's main export, but Kenyans prefer to drink tea. Presumably that's why they don't mind sending their coffee away. Around 90% of the species found in Madagascar are unique to the island. In Europe, Rome became the first city to have a population of 1 million people. And apparently the national, Scot the national animal of Scotland is the unicorn. I'm not even sure I believe that, but it is in this book, so it's probably true. And this book is just called What's Weird on Earth, and it has loads of great, interesting facts presented in an engaging way. If you want to switch your children onto geography and don't really want them to notice, then this is a brilliant book to do that. Uh, it's priced £14.99. I'm guessing about 20 US dollars. Do check it out. It's really nice. Good hardback. Brilliant photos, great text, informative, engaging, a book you can just dip in and out of, look at for two two minutes and learn something. Really like it, really great. Do check it out. So I hope you found that useful, Word Wednesday fans. And again, it's a Dorling Kinsley book, and again, it's great. So until next time, when I'll be back soon, probably maybe a week. And until then, goodbye. Bye.